G'day guys, it's me Zinkberg and welcome back to the Craftworks SMP. We have, well, we kind of have a lot to do today and most of what we have to do is a single thing. Um, I love doing this at Spawn. This is this is just the best place. I, I love this place. Um, so first though, before I start showing you what I've been really focusing on this week, we do need to make a trip over to the shop. I haven't checked anything over at the... Uh, over at the rocket shop uh, much this week. So I'll just take a look. Have a look at this. Look, let me go around there because I've just mistimed that. Someone's gone to the effort of putting the, uh, putting the pathway in over here. That's great. And someone's been messing around with my table design, trying to get that looking better <laughs> because I haven't done anything about it yet. Um, look, look at this. How good is this starting to look here? This is just looking magnificent. We've got, so my store over here on the right, and this was the basis. This was the sort of the the thing that other people were going to base theirs on. Uh, Oda's Goldilocks store here. We have, uh, this is E's, what is it? Coffee and Moon? The Chocolate Moon, the Chocolate Moon. Um, Lane's Prismarine shop, which is called Pristine Prismarine and the Craftworks HR office. Uh, this is Millie's Shulk and Shrink. Uh, she have a, uh, has, has a psychiatry uh, spot up the top there. And uh, Izzy's, what's this one called? Oh, yes, um, Interior. That's, that's a very simple name, which is good. That's exactly what it does. And they're all different designs, all the different sort of flavors of how the yeah, how the crafters build and things like that. I think this is this area is really starting to look good. I wonder what it looks like with shaders on. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, this is looking so cool. Let's slip out. Let's let's have a look with the bridge as well. Ah, oh, that looks so cool. I really like that. That's that that is awesome. It's it's getting there, you know. Like it's getting it's it's starting to look really cool. There's a couple of spots down here, and a co I think a couple of people have put their their hands up to do some work down there. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. To show all of that off, let's check this out. So we have. Oh, I better shut the door. I don't want sneaky people coming in. Does anyone know? No one's decided to leave anything in the chest. So let's have a look. Uh, flight duration three. Not as popular as I've mentioned before. Oh, that's three diamonds though. That's good. I like three diamonds and one diamond that is also good so four uh, duration one these are more popular why do people do that <laughs> I'll just take one from the right there is a stack missing there I know about that that's okay and four more there so we're even we're even that's awesome that that just as many being taken from either that's a pretty good haul 12 diamonds that's I'm pretty happy with that let's uh Let's fill this up. Okay, so everything is full again, so we're good that we're all stocked up and we've got our uh, got our 12 diamonds, so that's great. Uh, now, something interesting, my bed seems to have disappeared from here. So I'm gonna put just my white bed back here. Um, I intentionally left a bed here so that people could sleep if they were inside here and this happened where nighttime hit. Um, but that's gone missing. So anyway, that's fine. That's okay. Other than someone desperately needed a bed more than I did. This area, I mean, in general, this area is starting to look really good and I'm very happy with, uh, with the way that's going. Uh, 28 diamonds in there. Plus I think I've got two stacks at home. So we have plenty. I'll leave the door. No, I'll leave the door shut just cause I'm not friendly. Okay. So let's get to what we've been doing this week. This is exciting. I have been busy building this week. In fact, so much that I've pretty well neglected my friends. I haven't seen many of them. I did see uh, did see a few on the weekend, but uh, mainly been spending time alone out here at this paradise. Let me sneak around. Look, I've got shaders on already, so I'm going to show you. Look. Ooh, what's that? Well, let me tell you what that is. <laughs> it's much easier that way. Um... I am building an arena for PvP. After the success of last episode's uh, Diamond PvP, 
I've made a decision to build an arena. Now, let me show you. So we've got down the blah, 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 down the bottom here, I've gone with these things on the legs. Now, the legs look a little bit funny. The colors sort of look a bit weird. And if you're not squinting and sort of looking at it right, you might be forgiven for thinking, wait, why have you done that color mixture? Well, I guess the idea is that these pillars here would be uh, metal of some sort, probably a steel or something like that, much like a, an oil rig. Um, and so the bottom of them actually gets a little bit rusty. And and the very bottom level, layer, that, that brownish level, that would be where the water's lapping up against them. And then up onto the orange level that's up there, which is you know where, where it's actually rusty. Um, yeah, so it, I, I, I love the way this looks. Actually, there's on that one there, let's just move forward a little bit. You can see there's a little bit of um, mud in there, the packed mud. And I want to bring that back in. There's a load of um, sort of adding details and things that we have to do to this. And there's one big step that we're going to do together today. Uh, but let me show you over the rest of it. So on the top here, this is actually ground zero. This is where most of the fighting will happen. Now, it's not um, its not going to just look like this. It's not just an arena. It's an arena with a few surprises, which hopefully I'll get to show you this week. Maybe not. Um, <laughs> but there's also this little area down inside here. Now, this area here, um, this is room for some redstone. We're going to have some redstone in this thing. Um, just very simple stuff. But yeah, that's what this area is for. And at the moment, it's also a place for storing a few shulkers that may or may not be empty. Yes, I thought they might be. One of them will have... There you go. That one will have some stuff in it. Um, but we're, we're focusing mainly on what happens up here this week. Um, and... And that is particularly what happens on the top of this. But before I get too excited about building what's up here, I'm going to turn the shaders off here. And I am I need to go for a little journey. Now, there are two different directions I can head. I need to try and get myself... There are three directions I can head. Um, I need to try and get myself some powdered snow. I'm thinking that this area up here might be the best way to go. Over the top of Lane's... Uh, Prismarine, uh, Prismarine Farm, which is there. It looks really cool on this map. Uh, I think, I think, I think my my little circle might be a bit bigger. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's not a competition, it's not circles. But I think up here is our best bet. We could probably just jot down to that one, but I think that's just snow. I don't think there's any powdered snow on that one. So we're going to head up that way. Um, and we're going to take a look and see if we can find um, find that mountain range and see if we can find ourselves some powdered snow. All right, and here we are. Uh, we've made it out to the snow. I, I hadn't explored this area here. <laughs> Unfortunately, not much of it is snow. Um, so we're looking for powdered snow. Now, that's a little difficult. Uh, particularly to do it from the sky. Normally, it happens that you just fall into it when you least expect it and least want it to happen. Let's just have a look around, see if we can take see that bluish tint that we get from it anywhere. Uh, I don't see it here. Now, remember, kids, uh, when you go out on long adventures, make sure that you have enough rockets... And if you don't have enough rockets, make sure that you have your ender chest with you uh, so that you can get to your shulker box, which is full of rockets, uh, because I have just run out. And um, yes, my ender chest, <laughs> the spare ender chest I had is now eight obsidian. Um, and... I am that far away from home. So I am, what's that, 3,000 blocks from home. Not that that's a huge deal. Um, I still haven't found what I'm looking for, which is the U2 song. No, it is 
uh, I still haven't found powdered snow. Um, but I'm going to walk a long way home. Um, unless unless Oda was to get on soon and come and save me, um, I think I'm kind of stuck for the moment. So I'm going to keep walking around, see if I can uh, find that powdered snow and, 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 and on the way make my way home. <laughs> Okay, now uh, Lane's uh, beautiful prismarine uh, prismarine farm that I was making fun of earlier may just come in to save me, providing he has put a way for me to get onto the thing from the outside. <laughs> Which um, he may or may not have. Let's have a look. There are some blocks missing over here. Uh, wonder if this is meant to be no I don't think so I mean it could be I don't see a way out of there and I don't want to dig a hole into his um, into his thing uh, okay we'll put those back it's like Zinkberg was never here uh, that's the side of something. Oh dear. Wait. <laughs> I don't want to keep digging through. Oh my god. It, it's just getting worse and worse. And I'm down to my last torch too. We'll light this up over here for him. Um, let's try going through here then. Aha. All right. Oh, please, I hope he's. I hope he's got a way. Oh, he does. All right. Um, now we could do it with just an ender chest. Would be enough. There's a bed. I could sleep. Uh, I wonder if. Wonder if he's put one down here. Yes. Lane, my savior. Right. Fireworks rockets. We'll put a boat there. We don't need that anymore. All right, we are out of trouble. Aha, uh -huh. I found it. Look, here it is. Okay, so all of this, I just need one of those. <laughs> That's it, that was the whole journey. Now I can head back. <laughs> Six million blocks back that way. <laughs> okay, so why did I need powdered snow if what I'm doing is placing glass? Well, there's there's a good reason why, and I'll I'll hopefully show you. And I have never tried this, by the way. <laughs> so this could go all hor horribly wrong. So what you do is you apparently you put the powdered snow in your offhand like that. Hey guys, it is Editing Zinc here. Um, I'm about to waffle on about a whole lot of stuff that just isn't factual. Uh, you don't put the powdered snow in your offhand, you just switch to it in your main hand and place it on the block. So, uh, for those of you who watch my channel regularly, you know better than to believe anything I say. And those who are new to the channel, uh, listen to this version of me. <laughs> so, I'm just going to cut this bit out. And we're going to do this, I think, in a time lapse.
Okay, let's have a look as we fly in. So this is where we're at. Now, interestingly, so the circles that are on the outside, um, I just wanted something to give it a little bit of color, a little bit of sort of texture or something. Um, uh, I don't know if they really work. I'm not sure that they really get across the thing that I'm going for. I don't mind the red ones so much. It's just the blue ones that I don't like. And I suppose I could have done like on the outside, done like a ring around, except that ring doesn't sort of exist in the pattern, whereas with this one it does. Um, I could probably remove the blue ones altogether or I could stick some pointy things on it or something. Um, now, now, as far as this week goes, this is as far as this thing is going to get. Um, I, I just don't have time to do more. And I think it's looking really cool. So that up the top there, that's I think around about eight and a half thousand blocks of glass. Um, and, and as you probably noticed from the time lapse, there were times where I was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on the, over the same section. And particularly, particularly this top bit here, more so than the rest of it, all, this bit all up here really started to get to be looking very the same. As you can see, if you're, if you're sort of hovering around and doing this, you're seeing blocks and blocks and blocks. And while you're trying to count out um, schematics and things that, that show you um, I was using a grid pattern to do it um, it's very easy to get caught up and and wrong with it all I think I think that every block that's placed is in its correct location um, Oda and I did find a couple of spots where things weren't looking quite right but I, I believe that every single block is exactly where it should be. Um, on the inside, I hope I can say the same. I think that every block is where it should be. There might be some corners that overlap where they shouldn't, but I don't know. I love that that creates a red glass pattern on the ground and it moves based on the light. So, so as it gets to full center of day, this pattern here should dead center over the, over the scaffolding. I've just left the scaffolding in because currently there's no way out of here. Uh, so, so what is this? Okay, well, this is, thanks for asking. Um, <laughs> this is a PVP arena and it's, it's not just going to be an arena where people can come in and just punch each other. There's going to be more to it than that. So we're going to have some um, terrain and places to hide a little bit. Not so much hiding, but a little bit. Um, and maybe some, some traps and some things that dispense weapons and things. That's why we have the section underneath, which is for our... Um, which is for our redstone and things like that, that if we want to put up some dispensers and things and timers, I'm going to have to have everything on a timer. That's where this will go. Um, being that I don't currently have a way down, let's uh, let's just create one. Uh, there is a way back up on the outside here, um, providing I have these two blocks gone, which I could do also, but at the moment that'll do. I forgot that I also have these shulker boxes in here so <laughs> yes good yes so this area here this is completely for um for redstone uh i have also thought about so so one thing that we need to consider number one when people come into this thing there'll be a platform out here um, so out on this level here i'll just pan out um, so this bit here, there'll be a little landing place for you to come to. And then I think straight in the middle of this, right in the guts here, we'll do a, um, we'll do like an opening, like a door sort of thing. And then you'll come in, uh, and for this part here, you'll come in, be entranced way into here. And then there'll be like a, like a corridor that you go around, I think. I'm sort of thinking on the fly a little bit. And for the players, one side will go to 
one person will go to one side, one will go to the other, and then there'll be a stairwell up that takes you up into the main arena. And I think, I think that'll be the main way up. There might be a an employee's ladder or something somewhere else, but um, but at the moment that's that's what we have. Okay. Um, yeah, so, I mean, the great thing is in here, it's not raining. That's that's a good thing. <laughs> um, so the goal will be as quickly as possible to get this filled up with, um, with the basics, a bit of terrain, a, a few ideas that I've got for that, and then some redstone, and then we'll be good to go. Um, but, um, yeah, this was quite an accomplishment. It's a, it's a lot of black blocks placed down, and it was, it was kind of tedious, but it was... Um, yeah, it's it's a good uh, it's a good fun thing to get a build this big made up um, and get it all all done. I am very excited about where this where this goes. I haven't got a name for it. I've been calling it the Battle Dome. Um, I, I think that sort of suits what it's for and everything. I think that's a good idea. Incidentally, I think next week because of this build being left undone and uh, not being finished i think that we may very well have another craftworks episode next week i'm not sure yet um i'll have a look at it and i'll let you know and yeah that's that's it for this week thank you so much for joining me guys i love every one of you to death you guys are the best and and thank you so much for everything you do for me comments and all the other stuff um, if you haven't already subscribed and you've made it this far Give me a subscribe um, and, and a like on the video and, and leave me a comment. What was your favorite bit? What do you like? What don't you like? Um, yeah. Have a great week, guys. Love you all. See you later. Bye.